I think that trying things that you would not expect to like early on is so important for your personal growth. And my mom, that has been a lesson from my, that my mom's told me my whole life. I think I just didn't, <laughs> it didn't register. But she said like the best experiences and outcomes that she's had were from risks that she's taken. Hi, my name is Hannah Kanchali, and I'm in the Macaulay Honors College at City College, and I'm a biology major with a minor in chemistry. My mom was a biology major also, and she works for the New York City Parks Department, and so she's always been a big inspiration for me, both creatively and in science, since we're both artists that are also into science. So my mom went to college after I was born, and so when I was around like three or four, she went for her biology degree at CSI, College of Staten Island. Um, and so my first education exposure ever was at the College of Staten Island, at CUNY. My mom is definitely my rock. And um, she's always been support. I mean, I'm her only child. And so she's supportive of me and everything I've done always. And she's the one that motivated me to go outside of my comfort zone and go to LaGuardia. Because I was commuting from Staten Island every single day to LaGuardia. And I was, you know, when you start high school, you're 13, 14, maybe 14. And she was like, no, this will be a great experience for you. After going to LaGuardia and being like pushed outside of my comfort zone even more and like being in the city and away from my home in Staten Island, I wanted to go even further. And so I wanted to go to a, a big school that had, I mean, I've always had a million different interests in art, in science, in like certain areas of the humanities. And so I wanted to be in an environment that also with a lot of diversity and uh, different perspectives and different backgrounds. And so when I looked into City College, that is exactly what I saw. And I saw that City College has a, a history of social mobility and fostering students from unconventional backgrounds to become the best that they could be. And also different programs in STEM, in engineering, in the arts. And so it's so amazing to meet all of these different people with different backgrounds and interests. I didn't know any Yemeni people in my entire high school. There was not a single one. <laughs> and I kind of felt a little isolated from that, especially in Staten Island. There's not really many, unless I would see my dad and his family, which they're far away, that was rare. Then came to City College and I met so many Yemeni women in science. And that's also a rare thing because education is not brought to like women in Yemeni culture. They're, they're, the gender gap is very wide. And it was amazing that I could meet Yemeni women that like myself that are pursuing science and education. And I'm the first in my family, the first woman in my family to pursue um, an education. And so I was really inspired by them started working um, at a small animal practice and then for the Wild Bird Fund and then at the Animal Medical Center until that was my junior year where I decided that actually I think I am more wired for research and science rather than being a doctor. I was in the S.J. Levy Fellowship at City College and I got an internship at Columbia University at the Irving Institute for Cancer Dynamics and working with Dr. Elham Azizi in her lab. And so it was something completely different in biomedical engineering and cancer research, uh, mostly in genomics. And it totally changed my trajectory. And so now I wanna pursue a PhD in um, cancer research in immunology or cancer engineering. July 1st, I am starting a new position at the New York Genome Center for two years and I will be working um, in Dr. Gamsi Gersoy's lab. And she's a computer science background, but I will be working on a project with the Macmillan Center, which is an extension of the New York Genome Center, um, focused on the non-coding cancer genome. And so I will be continuing my research in cancer, but from a different perspective, which I'm really excited about.
And so I'll be able to, again, I'll be in a computational lab doing wet lab stuff, <laughs> which is what I'm doing now in my lab at Columbia, Dr. Elham Azizi's lab. She's computational cancer biology lab, but I'm more on the wet lab side, learning computational. So I'm really excited to be in that kind of environment again with um, many different people with many different backgrounds. And I, I can see the trend of me putting myself in that place over and over again, which is really great because I love being surrounded by people who have different specialties and areas of expertise. So that's something I'll be doing for two years and then I'll apply for PhD programs in my second year.